Welcome back. This is video number four. I'm so proud of you for going through these videos. This is a video series for those who are new to the faith, new in Christ. It's designed to be weekly videos, not to be just binge watched or to go through it quickly because at the end of each video, there are action steps for the next seven days for you to continue to develop rhythms of growing and seeking God in, in relationship with Christ. If you have any questions at all on a particular video or just in general as you are growing in Christ, you can comment on this video or email us at office at wine.family.org. If you haven't seen the first three videos, you need to do that, pause this, go back to identity part one, two, and three. Those are crucial videos for the foundation of either establishing or reestablishing your relationship with Christ. I want to talk kind of a transitional video on why our identity results in different priorities. So as we live a new identity, we begin to develop and manifest new priorities. We're going to be talking about spiritual disciplines in the coming videos or spiritual practices. They're really just things that help us stay rooted in the love of Christ and in our new identity. And some of the new priorities as we live out our new identity are our priorities here, relationally with God, and priorities here, relationship with each other. When you look at the life of Jesus, you see something significant. I love what Peter Scazzaro says. That, that You notice Jesus, when you look at Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, which is the first four books of the New Testament, which are called the Gospels, the, the life and the teaching or ministry of Jesus. When you look at Jesus' rhythms, is he didn't start his ministry until he was 30, and even after he started his ministry, and people were clamoring for him to, to, bring, to do miracles and to, to minister to them, he had a rhythm of getting away to be alone with the Father. Look at it. He, he would do things. He was busy, but he always was alone with the Father, being reminded where his value and his life came from. He had a deeply rooted union with his Father, and that compelled him, enabled him to live abundantly in his ministry as he served people. And one of the top priorities, as you're going to see as we do in the coming weeks, is, is that we begin to prioritize our time, spending time learning how to be still, learning how to read God's Word and allow His truth to become our, our, our lamp and our guide. We begin to learn how to pray, to be with God, and to also hear His voice and to Pray for others. We learn how to develop the rhythms of letting go and Sabbath rest. And these are all things that become a priority in our life as we rem remember and are reminded to live with a deep union with Christ, with our new identity. So as we live out our, our new identity, we, we're going to begin to live out new priorities. But not only vertically, but also horizontally as we begin to live out our, our new relationship in the family of God or the new family of Jesus. Because one of the things, when you said yes to Jesus Christ, you also said yes to his bride, which is the church, the family of Jesus. There's no longer just a me, but there's also a we. And we see in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 that we're all a part of the body of Christ. Each one of us matters. And then in Hebrews chapter 10, the author of Hebrews says, that we meet together to stir each other up for love and good works. So do not neglect meeting together. The author of Hebrews says meeting together with other believers is a priority. So you can stir each other up. That means encourage, pray, challenge in love, hold accountable, support, and serve. All of that is important. So one of the new priorities as a family of Jesus is to consistently meet together. I want to challenge you, make it a priority. Develop the rhythms of meeting together, not only in our gatherings, but also in a life group. And, I, and I'll tell you, it's very, consistent, it's very common for someone to follow Christ or recommit their hearts to Christ, and then they're, they don't miss a beat. They're just there every weekend, or, or they're there um, in the life groups, they do that for six months to a year. 
And then they begin to feel good. It's almost like people take medication. Well, I didn't take my medication because I feel good. And so they begin to slowly back out. But just like a coal removed from the fire, the heat and the warmth begins to fade. God designed us with new, as we live out of our new identity to live new priorities. And that's learning to spend time deeply rooted in a love, loving union with Him, but also deeply rooted in our relationships with each other. That's how God has designed it in His Word. So I want to pray for you. Your challenge for the next seven days is to read all of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, read all of Hebrews chapter 10, and underline and highlight anytime you see these new priorities of relationship here or relationship here. And then I want to encourage you to make a pre-choice choice now that you're going to be faithful and connecting with the new family of Jesus every week. God, I thank you so much for every person who's watching this video, that they have a new identity. That new identity equates to new priorities, God, as they begin to learn how to live out of a deep union with you and out of, out of healthy relationships with the body of Christ, with others. God, we need each other, God. And I pray that you would just continue to guide them, continue to speak to them, continue to do what only you could do in their lives as they learn to live out of these new priorities. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great, great week.